back the Christmas episode. First off, yeah, a little bit of a Grinch. And today I took a slip and fall on the streets of Brooklyn because it's snowing and they let me go early in the streets. It's nasty and unlike Minnesota, evidently people here don't know how to clean a sidewalk. But, hope oh, yours is going well. Ours is going good too. I'm getting to be the end of the year. Um, since I talked to you last, yes. It, I've had a great time saying President-elect Barack Obama. And soon I'm going to be able to drop the elect and say President Barack Obama. Now, I do have a beef that he picked Rick Warren. But my, my beef's not with him, it's for Rick Warren. You're Rick, you're just everything that makes people think Christians are screwed up individuals. So stop and think about yourself. And if you're without sin, then you can cast the first stone. Uh, I hope everyone has wonderful plans and looks forward to a wonderful holiday season and all the good stuff that comes with it, especially on the 26th when it's all over and everyone, uh, oh, excuse me, early days and lots of work, lots of work in retail. But, I got to go a little bit earlier today, and that's cool. I got to come home and spend some time with hubby that wasn't planned, and that's always a pleasant thing. Um, had a good Thanksgiving, went back to Minneapolis and saw the folks. And if you're one of what I saw and you're watching this, much love, and I'm sorry we can't see you at Christmas, but it was good to see you at Thanksgiving. Sorry. Oh. I've got to get to see Santa, and I was less than impressed with the Santa that I saw, but oh well. Realize it's a fat guy who doesn't work the rest of the year, and it makes it a little easier to put up with. I've got a few things hidden away for Peter and Bruno for their holidays. I hope they appreciate them and enjoy them. I know they will, but still. Um, let's see what else is there? Huh. Still working away. I did ask Santa, I did tell Santa what I wanted, and Rick at Rock Don't Run, I'm wanting some new video mashups. That's what I asked Santa for more than anything that I can I can get a call and response back here. And the look on his face is a little off when I told him I wanted new video mashups. He was like, hmm. Yeah, but, see, what else would I like? I'd like the double standard to be removed from the equation. That's something else I'd like for the holidays. That's what Christmas is all about, Charlie Brown. Actually, no, Linus, it's not. Uh, for some reason, I don't know why we can't get over the whole little double standards, but they're very real, and they're out there, and we're all having to put up with them, and... That's what I'd like for it. That's what I'd like. I'd like for it to stop this holiday season. I don't want to put up with it anymore. I want the bullshit gone, and I want it going for all of you, too. It's disheartening when uh, people are getting a walk when you're getting your chops busted over something. It really makes you wonder why you try, and it really doesn't make you want to try. So... Here's my call to you at Christmas. Think about double standards that you put off on other people that you wouldn't put up with yourself. Knock it off. Knock it off now. That should be a Christmas gift to all of us where we wouldn't have to put up with a bunch of fake BS and we can get around to being real. And once we're being real, we can take care of ourselves. And the fa back to the presidential act. This is something I'm very happy for, because I've often said, and as, as I said the night of the election, and Peter and I went over and watched it on the big screen at the tea lounge in Park Slope, Brooklyn, and we were all glad to see it happen. And we were up at 4.30 that morning so that I could make coffee and we could slop over and get in line to, to vote. We were some of the first people to vote in Brooklyn. I told someone that night, they said, isn't this exciting? And I said, yes, it's one of two things I wanted to see while I was still alive. I wanted to see a non-white person, irregardless of gender, 
gain presidential office, and I wanted to see positive contact with an extraterrestrial civilization. They asked me, well, what about a cure for cancer? And I'm like, you know what? If the aliens come here that far, they've got it. I said, well, are you certain we're going to see aliens? Uh, it's like, yes. After this election, you know we're going to see them. Here's why. I never ever, th I always thought that if this were to happen, that I would see little green dudes on the south lawn of the White House before I ever saw someone who was not white in the Oval Office. But I'm glad they are. The next step I w I'd like to see is for the country to have El Presidente. But, well, we just keep trying, and we're all going to do the best we can. And while this isn't, this isn't a great Christmas, it's not a hard candy one either. So, uh, get a gift or two for those special people. And, uh, just get together and enjoy their company and have a good time. And it can even make an old Grinch like me feel real happy about the whole damn thing. So. Hmm. What else was I say? Oh. Howie and Gels of the Illuminoids, thank you for that lovely, lovely uh, Who remix of Bob O'Reilly. And... Ooh. I've had a day, trust me. Sorry about that. I hope you all have a... Uh, and to all the other folks out here, and you know who we are, to all my lovely friends, happy holidays. And I do hope that all the things that you want are yours this year, irregardless of the crappy financial setup that the big boys have uh, set up for them and their friends. They all have piss fights, and we feel stray drops down here at ground level. But we keep on going, don't we? We got to keep hustling, and we got to stay strong, and we got to stay brave, and we got to keep our game face on and our big campaigns. Because otherwise, you know, hey, they don't sweat. And that's not a good thing. We need to make them sweat. Mm. Excuse me. So, as I said, sweat them real good. And, as I said, I hope your uh, holiday season is going great. And you're having a good time. And you never know, maybe this episode... Uh, if it didn't set one off, maybe it had a Christmas miracle in it for you. Happy holidays. From all of us here at Hedonist Confidential. Great one to you and yours. And, uh, tell the fat man what you want me to get for Christmas. And I'll tell him what you should get, too. Tell him what you should get, too.